Well, I must go back to 1927. I had an experience at that time which changed my whole attitude toward the people working for us. Uh, it happened right after seven o'clock that our millwright, his name was Herman Rumbled, dropped dead of a heart attack. I went to see his wife that morning and she, first of all, showed me around the, her house the, the handcraft that he'd made. And this was all very nicely designed and executed. Then she brought out some sheets with the poetry he had written. And uh, this was quite impressive. See, I had just known him as a, a mechanic who kept uh, the machines going. This amazed me that a man could write poetry like this. Then a few days later, I attended his funeral and the minister read some of that poetry. And the church was only a block and a fraction from the house and I'd walked there, but the Lord was dealing with me about my attitude toward labor. I'd been brought up with a couple of people who were very tough on labor and thought that was a way to handle it. But by the time I got to the front porch of my house on Pine Street, I had come to the conclusion that we were all extraordinary. 